everybody, Soapy Fun Times here and welcome to another video. So, guess what I got about a week ago? I just haven't had a chance to do a video about it yet because I've been so busy. Car show season starts. I've been like doing car meets and car shows and just, ugh. So anyways, if you guess, Fortune Cookie Soap Summer Soap Box and you are 100% correct. So here we are, straight on till morning, Summer Soap Box. Since it's a summer soapbox and it's a very nice afternoon, well, evening actually, the sun's going to be setting soon in about 45 minutes, I decided why not open it up outside while enjoying some, my favorite drink of all, Southern Style Sweet Tea by Arizona, and enjoying my dinner sushi, which my dog is trying to eat. So don't be surprised if you see him hop up on the table a couple times. All right, let's get started to this soap unboxing. But first, let's enjoy a piece of sushi. Mmm, yummy. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Let's have a nice sip of sweet tea. And in no way am I copying Graveyard Girl. I freaking love sweet tea. I will not do her little, you know, sippy sippy thing and then she does the ah thing. I am not copying Graveyard Girl, goddammit. Other people can have the same exact loves and sweet tea is freaking amazing. Like, Graveyard Girl and I can both agree that sweet tea is freaking amazing. All right, on to the unboxing. Well, this looks really promising and pretty. Let me show you what we got here. You see it? Very pretty, isn't it? Now, let me see. Oh, wait a minute. I know what this is. This is supposed to be Peter Pan. This is Peter Pan's world. Off to Netherlands. Straight on till morning because I'm seeing a picture of a pirate ship. Let's never grow up together. Oh, my God. It's Peter Pan themed. I love it awesome it smells nice in here and oh my gosh so this is what it looks like in here and awesome just awesome that's all i could say you know what i'm gonna tilt this down isn't that pretty and look at this little feather i got a feather <laughs> you see my dog but yes i got a feather last time i didn't get the little freebie inside the box they forgot to give me my butterfly but i eventually managed to get that by buying a bath bomb i see deodorant in here this looks really exciting. Let's get into the soap box. Alrighty then. Straight on till morning. Welcome to Fortune Cookie Soaps 2015 Summer Soap Box. Woo! Here we go. Let's do this. Oh my God. The Fortune Cookie looks freaking beautiful from the picture I'm looking at over here. Are you ready to see this major? Because I am. All right. Second star to the right. Fortune Cookie Soap. A happy thought and a bit of pixie dust. Glitter can make you fly silly. This isn't an acid trip. Crushed berries and mint leaves with a splash of sparkling pomelo served over iced sugar cane. I am super excited to open this. This is like the first fortune cookie that looks like it's going to be gorgeous that I got from the summer soap box. Oh my God, it's beautiful. My dog is trying to take it. He's even excited. Let's take a look. Ooh, it's very soft. Oh, this is gorgeous. I think my fortune got shoved in there. Yep, it's in there and I'm never going to be able to get it out. All right. Here it is, Major, will you please stop? <laughs> He's trying to take my sushi. All right, here it is. Look at all the sparkles. Look at that. Gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, wow. Look at all this beautiful design. This is absolutely beautiful. That is very pretty. Oh, wow. I, I can't, wow. I, this is probably the best soapbox fortune cookie that I've gotten since, yet. And it smells amazing. I like, it's, it's very fruity. Very, very fruity. Very summery. Very awesome choice. Awesome. Love it. I really wish I was in the soapbox when they had that one year with the summer soapbox and the fortune cookie looks like watermelon. Absolutely thought that was adorable. All right. Next item. Tink OCD hand sanitizer. Do you believe in fairies? Okay, good. We can be friends. Um, fresh cherries in cream sprinkled with toasted coconut and a fairy dusting of powdered sugar. Oh, this is a pretty color. I just started getting into my spring, uh, my spring hand sanitizer. This is gorgeous. Wow. So it's not, the camera's not doing it justice, but it looks very light green, but this is like a lime yellow green. It's almost, if you guys have seen my challenger video, it's on my channel. It's on my channel. Um, this is basically the same color green as my bright green lime challenger. So imagine bright electric green. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So this is supposed to smell like toasted coconut and powdered sugar. 
cherries and cream. It's supposed to smell like all that. So let's give it a little smell, a little test. Woo! I'm definitely smelling the cherries and the cream. And you know, sugar doesn't actually have a scent, but the cherries and cream, first I actually, before the cherries, I smelt the cream first, then I smelt the cherries. Very nice smelling, really, really beautiful. I absolutely love it. And there's sparkles in it, adorable. Okay, next item. Okay, so our next product is Lost Boys Whipped Cream. Get lost for peach sake. Just don't lose your marbles. Golden apricot muddled with fresh white peaches. Sounds good. And don't mind me, I have to keep an eye on my dog. He's a poop eater. So I gotta make sure if he poops that I'm getting it in time. All right, so we're looking for Lost Boys Whipped Cream. It's supposed to smell like apricot muddled with fresh white peaches. Oh, it's very pretty. It's very pretty. It's very soft. You smell that apricot. What do you think? What do you think? He approves. Almost smells like a soap that like my grandma would have in her bathroom. It actually smells like my grandmother's bathroom. But it smells nice in a good way. It smells nice. Reminds me of my grandma. All right, next product. Mermaid Lagoon Two Phase Perfume Oil. Hmm, that sounds interesting. Our coconuts bring all the mermaids to the lagoon, but watch out, they'll probably drown you. Them beaches. Ha, get it? Them beaches. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, to use, shake it more than twice. It's fun to play with, may stain clothing. Take it from Bill and Monica. All right, so I'm looking for this thing. Okay, this is interesting looking. All right, so there's like a bubble thing in there. And it's green and yeah so it's supposed to smell like freaking coconuts and you're supposed to shake it and whoo look at that it's all bubbly I know you can't really see it but it, like it's almost doing like one of those science things that you'd have in like science class all right let's see Hmm, that's an interesting scent. I don't know if I smell coconuts. I don't really smell like, no, you know what, I actually do. I smell the um, burnt coconut smell kind of coming from it. It's a nice scent. Um, yeah, I take it, yeah, yeah, I'll, I get it. It's good, it's good. It has a little bit of a flowery scent to it too. You know, it doesn't say the exact description. It just says like, oh, our coconuts bring the mermaids or whatever the heck. Um, but not too bad. Pretty good. Pretty good. I like it. Very nice. Okay, next product. Kiss Lip Balm. Whoa, I never gotten a lip balm before. Here's a thimble. Pucker up. Exotic watermelon, juicy pineapple, and coconut water. Bursting with fresh, fresh citrus juices. Okay, so watermelon, pineapple, coconut, and citrus juices. So here it is. Really cute. Tiny and adorable. I'm loving this tiny little lip balm. I wonder if it has any flavor to it. I mean, obviously, lip balm, you're not supposed to eat it, but that feels amazing on my lips. Smells amazing on my lips. Um, I very, very lightly smell the watermelon, like extremely lightly smell the watermelon. Um, I really, it's the citrus and the citrus that I'm tasting. Obviously, you know, it's not about taste and stuff, but very lightly you taste that citrus and you really smell that citrus. Like that's like the main smell coming out of this lip balm. Very lightly with the watermelon, but I absolutely love it. You make a very, very, very good feeling lip balm. It feels excellent on my lips. Like 100% amazing. Very awesome. Awesome, awesome job. All right, let's get to the next product. 
And it looks like we've got a salt scrub. This soap box has a lot of products that I've never gotten from previous soap boxes. I see a stick of deodorant in there, um, the lip balm, and now a salt scrub. The other scrub I got was an almond scrub, I remember. But very nice. Okay, so it's the boy who never grew up. Very pretty green color. Very nice. Um, take a look in there. Looks almost like, do you guys remember Play-Doh? Like, not Play-Doh, but do you remember, like, Gak and, like, Gacky products and, like, that farting Gak and stuff? It looks just like this. It's even, like, almost the same size container. Oh. Okay. The boy who never grew up salt scrub. Boys don't want to grow up and girls just want to have fun. Why can't we have both? Tropical margarita served with a salted rim. Ha, I get it. All right, let's give this a whiff. Mm. <laughs> it doesn't feel like gack, obviously, but it smells nice. Definitely, it, it smells like a margarita. It smells like a tropical lime margarita. I mean, I got nothing to complain about there. It smells just like it. Very nice. I like it. Awesome. And beautiful color. Beautiful green color. Almost is like the color of Slimer from the old Ghostbusters. Okay. We're on to the last two products. Here we go. The deodorant, which I've really been looking forward to, actually. Wendy Bird Veggie Protein Deodorant. Don't be afraid to raise your arm and flip the bird. The Wendy Bird, that is. What were you thinking? Right? Green apple with a balmy tropical twist. This is good. This is a perfect travel size deodorant. I'll have to remember to, you know, <clears throat> remember I have this whenever I go somewhere. Um, I'm just going to smell this because I have deodorant on and I don't want to be putting deodorant on deodorant, so. It's got a good feeling to it. It's not too soft. Feels like a good deodorant. Smells, you know, fresh, very fresh. Um, so it's green up. I don't really smell the apple. It just smells slightly fruity, the tropical twist part. Um, see, I have to get specific deodorants because I sweat a lot, unfortunately. So I have to get the extra strength kind of deodorant. So I will use this. I will use this, but I don't know if I'd be using it during the summertime. I might use this if I go away somewhere, but... Then again, this might be a, I can only use this in the fall, the beginning of spring when it's still chilly and the winter kind of deodorant. So I don't know when I'm gonna use this. I will eventually use this, but it might not be during a hot summer day because I gotta use my extra strength deodorant because no other deodorants seem to work very well with me. I am very self-conscious about that. All right, so we are on to the last product. The Captain Steamy Up Scotty. All right. Call yourself a codfish. Don't smell like one. Dewy magnolias and wild berries drenched with fresh cream. Arg. See, I don't really want to open this, but it's slightly open on the bottom, so. Um, hmm. See, these aren't going to give out their full scent unless they're in the shower, and obviously I'm not going to test it right here and now. But it, it has a nice light Scent, very light not like in your face <laughs> but very nice um so yeah that is my summer soapbox so now I have done all four seasons of soapbox and the next one is gonna be fall which I'm not looking forward to because that means all my seasons and everything like car show season and everything is done but that was summer soapbox it was based on the Peter Pan movie and I absolutely loved it we got hooks feather I believe that's supposed to be Captain Le hooks feather I think I remember him having red feathers on his hat but absolutely loved it really good I loved the surprises of things in here that I've never gotten in previous soap boxes I loved loved the fortune cookie beautiful design um, my favorite product uh, you know I'm gonna have to go with it being between this adorable little deodorant and the lip balm just because like, my favorite, like, creative product to put in here would be those two. My favorite product, smell-wise, would probably be the fortune cookie. Um, because of, and just how gorgeous it is, too. So, yeah, there it is. Summer Soapbox 2015. I'm so happy that you guys joined me. And here's a quick little thing of my dog. Major. Yeah, hey, puppy. All right, guys, I hope you have an awesome day. More videos to come soon. Bye.
Love you, puppies.